When using online tools, here are the three most common mistakes that you're gonna make accidentally. The first has to do with getting your tech set up beforehand. It is really uncomfortable if you're the host and you're still fumbling around with turning on video, or making sure the audio and video is there. So make sure that you show up early and test everything beforehand. The second thing is making sure that people know how to join. If you want to do something like with Zoom, make sure that they know that they should be turning on their own camera so they can see their own facial expressions just like everybody else and not just be in a big room. So the way that you do that is make sure that you send out the right agenda so people know what to expect. But even with Zoom, there's gonna be some challenges. You can join on the web or the download. And if you're using some of the more advanced features like we've talked about, breakout rooms or polls, it will only work on the downloaded version. So test out everything with your tech before and make sure that you keep to your agenda to be very clear about who is doing what, when. And so you have this simple handoffs on knowing uh, how everybody's gonna be engaged with different types of activities. The final thing is things fail. What is going to be your contingency plan if things go off the rocker? Now, there's a lot of things that can fail. So some of them you can't control and you need backup plans for. For example, if your internet goes out, this is something huge. Oftentimes you test it, for example, if you're at a hotel or you're traveling and you're not really sure about how stable it will be for leading a meeting. You need to have somebody else who can co-host or jump in in case there's any dip in connectivity. Another way to get around that is leverage the chat. Capture best practices in real time so people can read and engage so it's not all dependent on one person. And finally, have a co-host that will jump in if they start recognizing anything's wrong. If your internet is intermittent, it might be hard for you to notice that, but it can be really grating on all of your learners or people who are attending the meeting if you don't have something set up. So do backups for everything that you think could go wrong. Minimize it by not always connecting things that could be connected by hardwire like ethernet, or if you're using an iPad to present, consider hardwiring it to your computer. Make sure that you minimize these things. Bring your own adapters, bring your own video or mic if it's an important meeting. So start using some of these best practices to make sure that every single time you show up for a meeting, it's professional, people know exactly what to expect, and it goes off without a hitch.